In today's video, I've got five tips for you how you can be creative in any game. All right, so the most single asked question on my channel is how I am so creative and how I can come up with all these ideas. Well, to be fair, for a long time, I struggled to answer that question properly and I really had a hard time to explain. But the more I thought about it, the more I researched, the more I found out there are some ways in how you can actually become creative, even though you have the feeling you are not. How this is actually going to work out? Well, you find out in the next couple of minutes. So stick with me and let's have a look if you can learn something from these ideas. All right, number one is don't. Yeah, well, that's, that's stupid, isn't it? No, it's not. Well, don't expect too much from yourself and don't think you are creative right out of the box and don't compare to others. I think these are the, the most important rules right ahead. People think there is just certain magic dust falling down to you and you become creative because of certain things, but that's just not happening. You, you have to really become aware of the fact that you are not creative right out of the box, okay? So it's, there are people in the world maybe who have that uh, that wonderful trait but not everyone and I guess it's just a minority that has that wonderful sparkling whatever magic dust to them but you you don't have that and also there's one more don't for you don't start with the green canvas if you don't have an idea okay so many people just open games and start doing something right out of the box and just stare at the screen don't do that okay don't. I'm gonna tell you what you do instead. Let's go on to the next one. All right, number two is find your passion. And for me personally, that was the one key element I found to be creative. Every single person in the world has a different passion. Some people share the same passion, but in a different way. But you have to find out, first of all, what makes you happy, what is your passion, and where is the, the area in which it is the most easy for you to find certain things. For some people it's music, for some other people it's it's food. I'm, I'm not gonna lie, it's it could be food. Uh, or it could be taking a bath, or it could be going to the sauna, or it can be driving a bicycle. All these kind of things are passions. and. The more simple it is for you to enjoy these things, the more you'll find yourself become creative in the first place. And don't be confused, that has a direct connection to gaming, because the more you enjoy your passion, the more you will open your mind to, to let ideas flow that you then can reconnect to the games you play. And in the next point, I'm gonna explain you how exactly that's gonna work. Okay, the next one, number three, is observe. Now, this is something we as humans seem to forget about um, more and more in our very fast movement, living speed and whatnot. Sit down and observe. I think for me personally, that is one of the key elements to learn that I didn't have at the first place. But sitting down somewhere and just watch what people do um, really helps you to understand certain certain connections certain things and you have to connect that to number two in f in the first place find your passion and try to observe while doing that because that makes it all so much more easy you know you enjoyed you know riding your bike well do that ride your bike and observe the environment you do your little tour in um you you enjoy going to the cinema well then do that and observe every single thing how people move to the cinema how they sit how they eat their popcorn or whatnot it might sound strange to you, but these things really help you to spark ideas in your brain because there are connections and your brain will start to remember those certain patterns. And these patterns trigger certain elements in your brain that helps you to become more creative. It's, it's really a certain thing that, you know, people forget about. Looking at other things is really important and I guess having a little child now um, who's who's one year old helps me even more to understand that because the, the way they learn, the way they become creative is simply observing. They don't have another skill. They have to look at things and then they basically go on doing something else and this will tie in to the next point we have. So let's move on. Number four is recreate. Well that is something um, many people 
skip for whatever reason. Many people want to be uh, creative or, you know, very good at games right away um, on their own, which is which is a very honest uh, target to have. But it's the wrong way if you don't have that wonderful treat to be creative right away out of the box. If you're not, you have to find certain ways to learn techniques that will help you to implement what you've learned in number two and three before. So. How do babies, for example, learn? Well, they actually mimic other people. They mimic the little child around them. They mimic their parents. They recreate what the parents do, first of all, to then develop their own way of doing certain things, you know? How do how do little babies learn to walk? How do they learn to crawl? Well, basically, they follow patterns that they observe from others, and then they recreate that first, see? And this is, this is the beauty about life. The solutions are right in front of us. We just have to look at them. And this is this is one thing that really made me very, very obvious, or uh, made it very obvious to me that actually everyone can be creative uh, in different ways. So make sure to recreate, no matter what game you are at, you can see Planet Coaster in the background potentially where I recreated Space Mountain. But honestly, this is what you have to do. You have to recreate and while recreating, you gather the skills to become creative yourself. It might take time at the beginning, but it is absolutely worth it. Um, but there's one more thing, one more important thing. So let's move on to number five, which is take breaks. Yeah, this is potentially the easiest, but also hardest point at the same time. When you get into the flow of observing, doing stuff, recreating, it is absolutely time consuming. But you have to give your brain and your mind time to make these things settle, okay? Because if you don't take breaks of certain things, it, it won't settle down in your brain. The brain has no capacity to save these things, um, to memorize them, to create patterns on your own. Um, again, I can tie in the baby example just again. The more babies learn, the more they will need to sleep afterwards. So if you have some days where the baby is hyperactive and observes a lot and can't really sleep that well, there will most certainly follow days in which the baby is very tired and will sleep a lot because that's the time where the babies actually learn the most during sleep. I'm not asking you to sleep all the time, but I'm asking you to actually take your breaks from projects that you're working on. Take breaks from certain things you try and you can't achieve yet. You, you have to take those breaks. I've seen many people come along in these five to six years I do YouTube now. Many people that skyrocket, they, they just come on, kind of passed me to the left and to the right and then all of a sudden they burned out um, and, and you know, had other issues and these things happen um, and I'm not saying that this happens all the time. Um, there are also many, many different reasons that can cause it. So please don't take that as the one single reason to why certain things happen. But it is very important to not burn yourself out on certain topics, especially not when it's just your hobby. So take your breaks when needed. Don't feel guilty for not finishing something and don't feel guilty if it doesn't work in the first, second or third attempt. You have to take the breaks to make your mind work for you. And I think this is all you need to know. Five simple tricks that will help you to become creative. And um, there's going to be a, a last little part in this video, which is not directly a tip, but please make sure to listen to it because it's equally important as the other five tips. So there is no blueprint for becoming creative. There is no copy paste option for you available. These five tips are held rather open for a certain reason. Every single individual in this world is exactly that, individual. So I can't unfortunately help you. I can't tell you to draw a picture, to listen to an audiobook or whatnot. You have to find it out yourself. You have to find out what your passion is, what you can observe, what is the easiest for you to observe and what you want to recreate. You have to ask yourself what game you want to play to be creative in or maybe even something else. It doesn't even need to be a game. You can also build certain models. You can work with clay. You can compose music. But what is very important is that you don't let yourself stop because other people can do some things that you can't. Don't compare yourself. Never do that. Never ever compare yourself unless you want to recreate something. Then you can compare. But if you want to become creative yourself, free yourself from any comparison, there is no good or bad in that. Becoming creative is a... Um, 
is a development in understanding and becoming aware of the fact that you can't force it. You have to be yourself, you have to let things happen to become creative in your own way. And again, creativity is not a hard measurement. It's not a KPI. You can't measure it against anything. I can't say I'm 99% creative and you are 97 and Sylph is 110%. That doesn't work because maybe Sylph is 180% creative in building coasters, but then again he's only 10% creative in making zoos, which isn't fair because you can't put that in measurements, okay? So it is important that you find your way and you hold up to your own expectations that you set yourself. Don't set them too high at the beginning because you have to do it step by step. I really hope that this video helped you to understand how to become creative and not frustrated on the way getting there. So make sure to um, just, yeah, find yourself in terms of being creative. Make sure to, to observe and uh, listen to people and um, I really hope that you found this video helpful. If you did find this helpful and you want to see more videos like that, please let me know in the comments down below and also subscribe to the channel if you are here for more. That would help me out a lot and uh, now I thank you guys so much for listening. I uh, hope you had a good time with this video and now I hope you have a good time as well. Stay safe everyone. Until the next one, goodbye.